Yeah, we lost to the Chiefs again in the Super Bowl again. I don't really have much to say. It was a good game. It was a close game. It's not like we got blown out. I can't even really say that the Chiefs were better than us, but I can't say that we were better than them. It's just football. It was a good game. I said before the game, whoever has the ball last is going to win. I was right. <sighs> Maybe if uh, we didn't fumble the ball, or if we would have made a field goal, maybe it would have been a different game. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, maybe this, maybe that, whatever. Prior to the Super Bowl, I actually made a traditional style where I, I did two different versions, one in case we win, one in case we lose, because I wasn't going to do a post-game video. But here I am, doing it anyway. But like I said, I don't really have much to say, so uh, maybe we'll go get them next year, huh? Getting kind of tired of saying that, and the players look like they're getting tired of saying it too. I don't know how we could be any better than what we were this year. This year was like a great year. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. It is what it is. Go Yankees. <sighs> Here's the... Uh, I'm just going to show both versions. <laughs> Uh, if we win scenario, if we lose scenario, and some bloopers mixed in, fuck it. See you next season. Maybe. <sighs> My ass. Fucking hot wings were way too hot. Cha cha cha! We won. That's six. Count it. Six. What's taking your team so long? If we're so bad. Why is it taking so long for you guys to catch up? We got six. How many do you have? Oh, one, two, three. Dallas Cowboys fans, are you still stuck at five? I have a feeling you're going to be stuck there for a long time. <laughs> Did you actually think? Did you actually think? Do you actually think? Did you actually think that we were gonna lose to the fucking Chiefs? Hey, if you think we were gonna lose to the Chiefs, I don't know what you're smoking, but give me some of that Jack.
I decided to go with the red and gold, so I just grabbed the first thing I saw. Schaefer. One of the worst fucking beers you could drink, but it's red and gold. So, yeah. And then Johnny Walker Red. Because it's red and gold. So, yeah. Salute. Mm. 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 Oh, God. Ah. Oh. I haven't had Johnny Walker Red in a long time, and I didn't realize just how bad it is. Whew. I'm used to the Johnny Walker Blue. Okay, I'm lying. Two hundred fucking dollars for a bottle of that shit. But I don't know if you remember. I don't know if I ever told you. I never told you. But finally, they released these little mini ones. Little mini ones. This little. Johnny Walker Shooter, little shooter, was $20. This was $20. And I bought it. But you know what? <clears throat> it's always been like a dream of mine to buy the $200 bottle. Like maybe like when I get my tax return or something like that. Buy a $200 bottle of scotch and just fucking live it up. When I bought this, it was kind of a big deal, because it was like, for years, that's been a goal of mine. How sad am I to have a fucking bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, but, um, spending $20 on this little thing, which I kept, because it, it was a big deal to me, because I felt like that was my way of, like, I get to live like a king, like a rich person. Just for like two minutes, you know, I got to I got to know what it's like to be a rich person. That's why I kept it. Bang bang, Niner gang. Uh, 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 uh. What? Uh, 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 uh. Break yourself. Mm, mm, mm. All right. No. Did you think we were gonna lose to the Chiefs? Fuck the Chiefs. They're a thing of past, baby. First off, they shouldn't even have fucking won back in 2019, 2020. We should have won that game. If that fucking hole... If the ref would have just threw a goddamn flag when Bosa got held on that goddamn fucking third and long play, it would have been a different fucking game. We should have won that game. You're mad? Oh, now you're mad at me. Oh, you're mad that I didn't do a season two? Yeah? Well, you know what? Well, fuck you. All right? It takes too much fucking work. What do you want me to do? You want me to do this shit every week? Nah. Hello? 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 You play to win the game. No. Hello? The most views any of my videos got, I believe, was the fucking uh, Halloween... Uh, uh, special, the, the fucking Dawn of the Dead episode, and it only had like 241 v fucking views, and the fucking thing is banned in some countries. It's blocked. Because I... Get this. Get this. Tell me this, this, tell me this makes sense. Please. I'm dying to know. I want to put it down in the comments how this makes sense. My fucking video of me reviewing Dawn of the Dead almost got pulled and it got banned in several countries or blocked, whatever you want to fucking say because I have clips of fucking Dawn of the Dead on there okay I pulled the clips the movie that I'm watching on the TV on the TV that I'm watching, that's playing on YouTube, it's on YouTube, Dawn of the Dead, the entire movie. And I'm not talking about one that you have to rent for $2.99 or buy for $14.99 or whatever. It's on there for free. Someone else uploaded it. And it's been there for years. 
It's not like it just got uploaded and didn't get pulled yet. It's been on there for years. And that's what I was watching. So the whole, you could watch the whole goddamn movie on YouTube for free. But I put a few little five second fucking clips in my video of that video. And I get banned in several countries. And yet, I bet you that fucking... I bet you that Dawn of the Dead, whoever uploaded that on there, I bet that fucking same exact one that I watched in that video is still there. Tell me how that makes sense. But anyway, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to fucking every goddamn week. You know how, you know what, you know what I went through to fucking make that goddamn season? Fucking every time we won, every time we lost, most of the games I had to do two different versions. The day before, or several days before. And I had to make a in case we lose version, and an in case we win version. And then whichever one happened, Sunday night after the game, or Monday morning before the game, I had to fucking hurry up and edit the shit, and fucking put it on YouTube by Tuesday. <coughs> Fuck you, Jack. I got a job, alright? Do I look like Grant Cohn to you? Huh? By the way, for the record, I just want to throw this out there. I gave him up cold turkey. Before, I would watch his videos just so I can just be like... I mean, I'm not going to lie. There was a few things that I would agree with, with him. But 90% I was disagreeing. Like, man, fuck you. You're such a fucking little whining bitch. What do you want? What do you want? A part of me, but yeah, this whole season, I haven't watched not one Grant Cone video, and I'm proud to say that. But you know what? It wasn't exactly a hard habit to fucking kick. You know what I'm saying? You 49ers fans out there that watch him should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Selves. Whatever. But yeah, you want to be a negativity spreader? You want to watch that? Oh, but he... Tells it how it is. Fuck you. I only watched it for one reason only. Because he he's on the field with the players and the coaches. And he's at the press conferences. And he's got, you know, ringside seats to everything. And he's got updates and stuff that, you know, I can't really get anywhere else. But this season, I haven't watched him not once. At all. He's dead to me. And you know what? The rest of you fucking real fans out there should feel the same way. Get rid of that negativity spreader. That's what he is. He's not even a Niners fan, guys. He's not even a Niners fan. He says it all the time. And you watch him? Might as well watch a fucking... Go watch a Seahawks fan talking shit about the Niners. He's a coward. He won't even say who his team is. I still think it's a fucking Ram. I still think he's a Rams fan. Or Raiders or something stupid. He's a fucking... Fuck him. Fuck him. What? Oh. Oh. YouTube's a little different this year? What? I can't say fuck? Oh, I won't get as many viewers? I don't give a shit if one person's watching this fucking video. I hope it's Grant Cohn. <laughs> but what? Did you actually miss me? You thought you actually thought that I was gonna come back and make a season two? What am I gonna do? Make a fucking video every goddamn week? You know how much work I had to fucking put put into those fucking videos? The leather face video? I did that shit fucking six thirty in the morning before I had to go to work. Cloudy, the Bueller fucking segment, going over to fucking uh, that goddamn baseball field park, whatever the fuck it's called. People fucking, there was a lady walking laps, and every time she was rounding third, I had to fucking cut the camera and like go like this in the fucking dugout, you know, and take the fucking wig off and the hat. I can't take the goddamn marker mustache off. Oh, and that's another thing. Every time that I was Bueller, I had to fucking shave clean. 
t t so I could look like I was 18 again. Because <clears throat> that's when I made that goddamn movie. Have you seen me clean shaven? Get a good look at this fucking face. Do I look like fucking Brad Pitt to you? I need my facial hair. I'm fucking ugly. Not one time. Not two time. Not three time. Not four time. Not five time. Not six time. Not set. Oh wait, hold on. I went too far. All right. Six time. Super Bowl champion. Anyway, Grant Cone, go fuck yourself. There you go, right there. Now what? Now what are you gonna do? We won the Super Bowl. <coughs> what complaints do you fucking have this time, huh? What complaints do you got this time? You fucking piece of shit. You fucking Seth Green looking motherfucker. Fuck you. What? What? You want a piece of me, Seth Green? Not the actual Seth Green. I'm talking about Seth. Uh, 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 Grant. Grant Code. Fuck you. Go have some gefilte fish, you fuck. What? Did you actually think that Patrick Mahomes can outscore Big Cack Brock? <clears throat> In closing, feels good. We won. Number six, baby. We got it. And the look on Taylor Swift's face, priceless. Totally worth it. You know, come to think of it. Yeah, we should have won our sixth Super Bowl against the Ravens. And our seventh against the Chiefs the first time. This should be our eighth win. This should be our eighth fucking win. Not to mention, you know, if Bill Walsh didn't fucking want to go out on top, and if he would have stuck around for another ten years, you know, everybody likes to compare, say, Bill Belichick is the best coach of all time. No, 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 no. Bill Walsh is the greatest coach of all time. And Joe Montana is the fucking best quarterback of all time. Fuck Tom Brady. If Bill Bill Walsh and, and fucking Joe Montana won three Super Bowls together. I like to say four because we won the very next year after he left Bill Walsh. And it was the same team. It's the same fucking playbook. Everything's the same. <clears throat> we had Joe Montana. Jerry Wright. I gotta put this beer can over here because that's the second time I picked it up and I'm scared I'm gonna drink out of it. Especially because I'm wearing a glove and I can't tell if it's warm or cold. Schaefer. It's what's in. But anyway. It took Bill Belichick and Tom Brady... 20 years to do what Bill Walsh and Joe Montana did in 10. That's all I got to say. Argument over. Hey man, I'm happy. We won the fucking Super Bowl. We did the impossible. Well, not the impossible. We were, we were actually the favorites. So technically, it wasn't the impossible. <clears throat> but. We did it. It's over. The quest for six has finally come to an end. The quest for seven? Now it's the quest for seven. Anyway. Go Niners!
Now, if we lose, yeah, I'm doing it again. It's Friday night. This is all being filmed on a Friday night. This, I'm doing two versions. The uh, in case we win version and the in case we lose version. This is the in case we lose version. Which, by the way, is always more fun. <laughs> What, bro? What? What now, bro? What? Oh, what are you wondering? Oh, where have you been all season? Now you show up? Now that we fucking lost the goddamn Super Bowl, now you fucking show up and make your video? Of course. Because I was waiting all season long. Because I didn't want to jinx it, okay? I didn't want to jinx it. I thought maybe I'm the bad luck guy. You know, I'm always thinking, oh, maybe this is the bad luck guy, or that's the bad luck house, or that's the bad luck place. Maybe it's me, all right? I'm the bad luck guy. I thought maybe if I just keep my mouth shut. They say <clears throat> a real winner doesn't brag when he wins. And he doesn't complain when he loses. So, I'll, this season long, this whole season, I've been keeping my mouth shut. I haven't been going on Facebook and bragging to my friends, Oh, this is it. We're winning. This is our year. And I haven't been going on there bitching whenever we lose. Which, by the way, I don't really have anything to bitch about. Even that three-game span where we lost, I wasn't worried a bit. Because since... Fucking the first game of the season, when we blew away the Steelers like that, I was like, we're, we're winning the Super Bowl this year. I could just feel it. I could just, because they came out of the gates fucking pissed. And they, the, the way that game was, I was just like, okay, this, this is what we always should have been. Like, you could tell it's go time. I didn't think I'd be standing here after the Super Bowl against the Chiefs again. I guess it's safe to say Andy Reid has our number. We just can't beat this fucking team. If we would have played the Ravens, maybe we would have won. Two weeks ago during the AFC Championship, which was a good game, Chiefs won. I was rooting for the Chiefs because I was like, I want to face the Chiefs. I don't trust the Ravens. I don't trust Lamar Jackson. They're too sneaky. Their offense is too sneaky. You don't know what to expect. Every time you think you got them, Lamar Jackson will fucking single-handedly win the goddamn game. I'd rather face the Chiefs. But my brother Marky was like, I'd rather face the Ravens. I don't want to face the Chiefs because they have our number. We just can't seem to beat the Chiefs. And he was right. He was right. So here we are. Three Super Bowl appearances. The last three Super Bowl appearances have been losses. I understand the one against the Ravens was with Jim Harbaugh. Different coach, different era. But I like to think our defense was better in that era. And I like to think Frank Gore is the greatest fucking running back of all time, even better than Christian McCaffrey. And we couldn't win with that defense and Frank Gore. We never stood a chance, did we? The key players on this team, well, the most important position in all of sports is quarterback. And that's Brock Purdy. He's good. He's very, very good, but he's also very young. He's also very young. Hey, first year 
NFC Championship. Second year, Super Bowl appearance. Third year, there's only one place to go, and that's up. Super Bowl win. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll get to the Super Bowl again and not play the Chiefs. That'd be great. <clears throat> Maybe we'll play the Bengals. Maybe we'll play the Bills. That was my prediction at the beginning of the season. I said 49ers, Bills, book it. And we're going to win. Especially, like, the first three or four weeks of the season, the, the Chiefs looked like shit. They looked like shit. I was like, oh, this is great. The Chiefs are done. Don't have to worry about them. And yet, here we are again. Lost to them in the Super Bowl again. Doesn't it just fucking grind your gears? Doesn't it just piss you off to know? The Chiefs to us are like the way the Cowboys were to us in the early 90s. Or the way the Green Bay Packers was to us in the late 90s. We just can't beat them. We just can't beat them. And I don't know what else to do. I really don't. I feel like this team that we have right now, how do, you, how do we get better? What do we do to get better? I mean, I understand Hufanga got hurt and was out all season. Maybe if he was in there, he would have made some kind of a difference. I think in the draft, we need... I hate to say it. I really like Lenore, and I like Ambry Thomas. They're both okay. But... <clears throat> I think we might have to draft, with our first pick in the draft this year, a cornerback. Just saying. Anyway, we'll get them next year. Get real tired of saying that. Go Niners. Anybody ever notice that uh, Johnny Walker Red Label taste the way Johnson & Johnson Band-Aids smell? Seriously, smell it. it. Smells like a box of fucking Band-Aids. Anyway. What? What now, bro? What now, bro? Hmm? What? So we fucking lost. Fuck you. I don't care. Fuck the Chiefs. Fuck Patrick Mahomes. Oh, hey, Miss Piggy. Right, let's go. Oh, Travis Kelsey, you're with uh, Taylor Swift? Well, I'm with Miss Piggy. Come on, Miss Piggy, let's go. We won the Super Bowl, baby. What's that, number three for him now? Fuck you, Patrick Mahomes. Two. Up yours. Up yours. What? What? So my bar is a fucking mess. Uh. I had a lovely vacation in Hawaii. Very, I had a very nice time in Hawaii. I had a lot of time to reflect, to think about life. And then I come home to this shithole where fucking cloudy. Fucking, there's flies everywhere that I can't get rid of. 
roaches, these little centipede things crawling in my bathroom sink. Pooey. Fuck you, Cloudy. I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna find you someday. This, you know, this is fucked up. Look at this. Look at this. Let me tell you something. Look at this shit. Look at this, huh? Look at this. Huh? Huh? Look at this. Huh? Right there. There you go, right there. There you go. Look at that. Still fucking sitting up there. Let's see the expiration date of that fucking thing. Come on, give me that thing. Give me that thing back. March 29th, <laughs> 2023. Oh, really? March 29th, 2023. March, <laughs> April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Ele 11 months. Wait a minute. You mean to fucking tell me? That in one more month, it'll be a year. <laughs> it's been sitting up there for a year? Oh my god. Well, you know what? I'll, maybe I'll make a little video and post it, upload it on uh, March 29th. <laughs> maybe I'll just drink it, huh? Look at that. Oh, it's still in there. It's still in there. Fuck you. Fuck you, Cloudy. At first, I started to clean up, man, and then I just got so depressed, and I was like, you know what, fuck this. I ain't cleaning shit. He's gonna clean it. So I've been, I've been, I intentionally left everything. Even the dishes in the fucking sink with the flies. I left everything. You don't want to know what it looks like right now, but trust me, you don't want to know. I'm waiting to see that motherfucker again, and I'm gonna make a video where I'm gonna make him come in here and clean. I just realized something. I did clean up. Okay, so I cleaned up, but then it became a mess again. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Here, my Schaefer. Fuck this. I can't believe we got to the goddamn Super Bowl and lost again for the third time in a row. I'm tired of this shit. I'm so tired. What are we, fucking? What are we, goddamn fucking Buffalo Bills of the early 90s, huh? Well, if that's the case, we got one more to go then. That means we're gonna get to the Super Bowl again and lose again. It just hasn't been back to back to back to back. Spread it out. What is this? Every eight years we make the fucking Super Bowl to lose? Fuck this. You know, this has been a rough year. Bray Wyatt passed away. They've been lying to you, man! This is actually his hat. Yeah, I went to a show once and he hand. No, it's not really his fucking hat. You think that's his hat? Well, why would I- how, how would I have Bray Wyatt's hat? And if I did, would I fucking be leaving it here in this fucking shithole fucking bar? I would put it in a case or something, like my 49ers helmet up there. Going. I don't know where the hell it is. It, someone must have took it. Maybe Cloudy came. <laughs> Maybe Cloudy came and took that while I was asleep and pawned it for fucking ten bucks. I bought that thing on eBay for two hundred dollars. Fucking tax return years ago. One of the best things ever bought. I, I bought them both at the same time. I got the helmet for two hundred bucks. And I bought those gloves that I got, which are right here. Here. There you go, right here. Hundred dollars. Hundred fucking dollar pair of gloves. Here goes the fucking phone again. Damn it! I can't do anything without this phone right here. What? What? Oh, hold on, I need my gloves. <laughs> uh, that's good to be back. It 
Okay, there goes everything. Well, oh, and I just knocked over the Virgin Mary. So, all right, hold on. I'm very really sorry about that. Uh, Hopefully that doesn't fuck up any of my mojo. But, uh, well, it can't be too bad. It's uh, <laughs> sit next to this Yankees Gary Sanchez card. So, I don't think it was bringing too much luck anyway. <laughs> Let's just get rid of the whole, uh, 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 and Stanton. Alright, I don't know why those are up there, but they are, but they're not in there. Okay, now they're down here. Uh, but what if getting rid of that gets rid of our bad luck? Oh, no. I almost picked up this really old Bud Light can with warm beer in it. Cause that's how I roll, baby. I just have old beer cans sitting around. Listen. Ouch, Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. Ouch, my ass. Ouch, my ass. And fuck Taylor Swift. <laughs>